Welcome back to 59 Minutes. My name is Levi Kones. It's a wonderful Friday. We are having a discussion with David Ogot concerning the issues to do with alcoholism and um, talking about how to deactivate the active alcoholic. By the way, you know, um, uh, this particular Friday, the president is supposed to make an announcement yes. about the curfew. <laughs> and I, I one of the big events is the drinkers are saying, Bodam mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But <laughs> it seems like it's a, it's a real concern. In fact, the last time when he opened bars, he said, Ah, ni mawachi a bus, kunyueni bus. Yes, up to this uh, particular, particular. How come it is, seems to be such a, of all the things that give us uh, a, a pleasure and deactivating the alcoholic? Here is a worry. There's the alcoholic who uh, thinks he is interesting after alcohol, he's funnier. He's the life of the party. Um, he can express himself better. He talk to ladies, you know, or, or, or you know, or even to other people. He can be a little bit more confident. Perhaps he's a shy individual who, when he drinks alcohol, that comes out. And they think, if I can, if I remove this from my repertoire, I become boring, lackluster. Or if, or he finds that, or he she finds that all their involvements that are fun have alcohol in them. I mean, people call you on a Friday like today. And it's alcohol based and it's fun. And the, you, ha you have tried going to maybe a church event or a Bible study. Na, eh, ni boring to sana. Eh? So you think you have to, ha alcohol has to be in the mix. So if somebody, even, even a simple game of cards mm -hmm. is more interesting when alcohol is in the game, you know? Mm -hmm. So for that person who says, I would like to leave, but mm -hmm. this thing, Bana, is just, it's for the fun times. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it for fun. How do we go about that deactivation? Because you, you took us to the points of how do I know? Or as you said, that trailer that keeps on going, running through the social drinker to the heavy drinker, yeah? yeah? To, to the drunkard, to now the complete, you know, uh, alcoholic where there's no return. And then also, how do you tell yourself, look, are there warning signs? Like for example, if you had too much, and I'm, I think I'm asking too many questions in one now, but I think you can balance them out. If you had too much to drink on a Friday mm -hmm. and drank your rent, mm -hmm. and on Monday you woke up regretting, mm -hmm. should you then consider a pullback? You know, the what are the warning signs you should say? I. Remember, I said, there's a, if the fact that even you are drinking is a topic of discussion, however casual, even if it's a joke, ah, we are not going to sana. Where there's smoke, there's a fire. There are diagnostic questionnaires which people can use to, to, to see. Yes, those a, ones, a, yes. A a very, you see, even for a doctor or somebody to ask you, it's, it's a very sensitive topic. What do you mean? Why did you, what are you saying? Why are you saying I'm an addict? See that you, why are you asking? So there's a very simple one, which is used. It's called CAG, C-A-G, to ask. Because it is few questions. Some of them, other questions, audit, Michigan, mass test, uh, 20 questions, 21 questions, 18. So it's like an interrogation. Um, uh, uh, and we know addicts don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, do, we don't like, yeah. So CAG, casually, is the C, the C is do you try to cut, have you tried to cut down on your drinking? So you are saying, eh, no, I need to punguza. You just, you, you don't share with anyone. Mm -hmm. anyone. For whatever reason. For whatever maybe it was a headache. Yes. Maybe it was, Army. yeah, maybe you puked too much. Yes, did something stupid. You know. Yeah. But even just a headache. Thinking you're a headache the next day, you had one day too many. So have you ever tried to uh, cut down? Hey. Uh, 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 yeah. Does it annoy you? Does it annoy you? You get angry. That's the A. The G. Do you feel guilty about your drinking? Or yeah. Drunk, you did something wrong. Yeah. You insulted someone. Yeah. That's, that's no. Or even you 
go home, you are thinking you are eating skuma and you come and uh, tough jeez. Yes, yes, yes. And scientifically accurate. Now, the thing to, to give you an eye open what is to draw a lot? Your head is not functioning well. Your, eh? your body is actually demanding some alcohol. And actually, that. And you'll feel better. Immediately. That I am when you to, take it, yeah. I am to, be motto. What is causing this problem? Pombe. What if I flash? <laughs> what will take it away? Some more pombe. Now, that last one, in fact, uh, eye opener, is actually even one of the biggest, even if you get that one as a yes, and even the others are no. That is also an indicator because what is kutoa lock? Kutoa lock means you are suffering from withdrawal symptoms, which is a major sign of uh, alcoholism, mm. Pending, of dependence, yes. yes. Now, um, 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 if you answer two or three years, there's a problem. But as I said with the E1. Yeah, but if now, you answer that yeah, one, yes. yes. Uh. Now, that very simple uh, uh, um, 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 questionnaire, cage, cut down, do you get angry when, uh, when, uh, when, uh, People talk to you about your drinking or the topic is about your sub aspect of your drinking. Do you feel guilty about your drinking? Do you need an eye opener? The next morning after drinking. Simple questionnaire. Run that by yourself or run it through your people. For your people. Okay? Now, before you even drink, before you even drink, Look at your family's history on both sides. Your mother's side and your uh, father's side, maternal and paternal. Is there a history of drug use or alcoholism? Because if there is, that is another sign before you start that you possibly have that gene which then affects how you process Pombe, should you decide to start drinking? So check upwards, check sideways, horizontally, cousins, uncles, etc., aunts. It's their problem. And if there is, that should uh, guide you in your decision now. Mm. I want should to be a loud beep. Could, uh, yes, consume alcohol. Could I be one? And as I always give the example, my family on both sides is crazy on both sides, and I know so many families. Now, when we are saying it is a, a, a addiction, alcoholism is a family disease, it's in two parts. Family in the sense of look at uh, genetically, are you predisposed? Mm. And then on the other side, you know, when I am, in my status is active, or if I go back to active duty as an alcoholic, it is affecting the whole family, and then it affects in layers. So it starts with the family, significant others, so like spouses, etc. Then it extends to school, if I'm in that age, or to workplace, if I'm at that level. But the people it affects hardest are the family. So right now, you're having situations where because of my favorite word, definition. Yes. Everybody is doing everything. And as I said the other time, I'm a poster child. I was taken to psychiatry, psychology, social worker, prayer, kwakanisa. Uh, my father thought lab that they are being grabbed before they reach where we are sitting. Pastor is hired. Come to the house. He's paid to pray for mm. me. Like Nothing. Na upako, you are fresh. Yes. yes. Nothing. Finally, in desperation, at another clan meeting where he's asking, this is money, money I can get. There is my firstborn sitting in his coffin. We're just waiting for him to lie down. We nail it shut, we bury it. Who can suggest something we've not tried? 
which Dr. Idea came up again several times. And everything was tried several times. When the witch doctor now failed, clan meeting, there's nothing more to try. No more suggestions. Everything has been tried. Mm. That is when my father made that prayer, I'll never forget. God, you see everything. We have tried to help our firstborn son. God, we are reminding you, he's also your son. We are handing him back to you. He instructed everybody, my wife, Nini, do not ask this guy anything. Akunwe, akufe, apumzike, atasisi tupumzike. And that is when I got to a place where they approached their definition was it is a disease. And there within 14 days, I got on top of my problem. At that time, the facility was charging 200 bob a day, pit latrine, washing with cold water in a basin, mm -hmm. meat once a week, very small portion. In 14 days, at 200 bob, I knew my yeah, problem. I went to such a facility. Yeah. It's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And some of the places yeah. I had gone to, the room alone, because my mother is there saying my son cannot be in the Akwe comfortable. ward. Akwe comfortable. 5K in the 90s, if you put it into the, how many families can afford. And it is on that realization that this is a very simple thing. Like the cage questionnaire. It is a very simple thing. And that is why I set up the goinghome.com trust. To tell people you are being cheated. You are being cheated. Leave story mingi. Oh, underlying issues, did you what my mother emailed me, her left breast, my father used to lock me in a dark cupboard. Mm. Eh? If you can find the underlying issue, I can now drink. You know, my trailer to brakes are corroded, cannot be repaired. I can drink. Yes, I can never drink safely again. And since relapse is part of the issue, every day I have to whatever. If in case, God forbid, I get another relapse, like I had two or three after I left rehab in 2001, if, God forbid, I have another one, then I look, because there are different types of relapses. Mine was an overconfidence uh, relapse. I went to all the Changa dens. I left the rehab like Jesus, that I was going to save the world, forgetting what they did to JC himself. Uganda <laughs> 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 recruits. Hey, hey, hey. Kinda, who am I? Hey, you guy, my guy. Hey, what's a kid? Hey, what's a kid? Tell us more. Mother let around the dinner and I'm paying. <laughs> I relapsed. But since <laughs> then, mm. one day at a time. Mm. You see? So, bottom line, it is a simple thing. Your trailer to brakes are corroded beyond repair. Every time you enter that trailer, they all, when you stop drinking, it's parked on top of the hill. It's a 45 degree hill. Once you enter your trailer, and sooner or later, if you don't get help, and by bad luck, your trailer hits something bigger than the trailer, which is not your parents, your school, the boss, the what, no. Something solid, and it smashes you inside there. You die. Nine out of ten addicts die before they or their families know what the problem is, the def correct definition, and what that there is a solution. So me, I can only talk about what worked for me, because I'm one. Yeah. And I'm talking to one person, and I'm doing it one day at a time. I hear you, unfortunately. We have to stop there, but doesn't, the conversation doesn't stop, because we would like to talk about enablers next week. Yes. It's the Next people. Friday. Yes, the people around. Mm -hmm. Yeah? They're there, aren't they? Yes. Yes. They yes. the process. This guy yes. is not doing this thing. Remember, we started when I said that the, the guys who have been calling, yeah. then they give you a small brief. You are making a, a mini assessment. They say, no, 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 I don't think I'm. Uh, those yeah. are your. It's not a solo journey, is it? Those, no. The family is the best support to help an addict, an alcoholic, get sober. But how do you support in the correct way? It is only when you know that could have the correct definition of what you are dealing with. Okay. And as I say, it is as simple as the cage 
questionnaire. As a cage questionnaire. Let's we're gonna we're gonna have to end, end the show, but we'll leave that questionnaire with you if you're watching. Uh, he said, check out the cage questionnaire. Do it for yourself. Uh, cage. The C stands for. Have you tried to cut down on your drinking? The A is the question about drinking. Does it annoy you? Are you angry when you are asked whether you drink too much? The G is for guilt. Do you feel guilty? Have you felt guilty about how you have spent your money or your time? Uh, in, in matters alcoholism mm. and then the e of course is uh, whether you have had to have had an eye opener this morning have you taken something kufungua macho kutoa lock to function today yes. ask yourself those questions we talk next friday with david ogot so can i say going. next friday kamakawa kamadawa kamakawa kamadawa <laughs> <laughs> Aki, i don't know why you you'll become a rapper on this thing <laughs> but it is important it's important we talk we talk these things yes. stay tuned for ilosu coming up with Leia. thank you for uh, the wonderful wonderful time david uh, see you next week see Thanks you next week me. god bless you have a lovely weekend and uh, cut down if you're drinking mm. Or do the cage. <laughs> See you.